Hello, this is random variables advanced portion. Now we are going to do it as in the past two videos. We have explained the basic functioning formats. Now today I will start with some of the very advanced topics like the MGAF, like the probability <coughs> function, the joint probability distribution function and all. So we will start with marginal probability function. This topic is marginal probability function. So here for marginal probability function, we will do some more sums on this. Always remember for marginal probability function, we will do the derivative in most of the cases and for example, that x y will be two discrete two dimensional variables and they can take many values like x i y i where i equal to obviously a natural number and the probability distribution function of this the probability distribution function or the marginal distribution function can be written like this p of x i of x equal to summation of p of x i y j equal to pi so this is a common format in due course of time we will tell you uh, that how we are going to solve it um, conditional probability is written in that way c conditional probability function or cpf is p of x given y it's always given that means x with y already happening or y is given with x already happening so x comma y divided by p of y that's it provided p of y not equal to 0. So this is the type of basic theories uh, of this kind of functions are very important and for marginal distribution function for marginal distribution function that is m marginal this one from this one a lot of questions come marginal distribution function we always do it like f of x of x integration of minus infinity to x given that minus infinity to plus infinity f of x y dy and dx so marginal integration distribution of x is dependent on the integration of y similarly f of y of y will also be dependent on minus infinity to y minus infinity to plus infinity f of x y dx and then dy ultimately with respect to dy we have to do but the basic it will be like this okay and for joint marginal density function or joint MDF or DF only the density function joint distribution so there we have to do it f of x of x we simply differentiate the function with respect to x which is nothing but equal to f of x y dy and f of y of y will be d of f y dy minus infinity to plus infinity f of x y dx. So these are the two basic structures we are going to follow in order to solve the questions on the marginal distribution functions. And uh, we need to remember that any kind of this kind of joint functions are mostly joint means two variable structure even if there are three variables then fx with respect to yz or fy with respect to uh, zx and fz with respect to xy will be the common format of solving this kind of structure now I'm going to start the structure with some problems on the basis of that uh, 
we will be proceeding in the due course of time. Okay. Let's start with this. In general, these kind of problems are long ones. So, be patient while you solve it. And as I always say, get your copies ready as well so that you can be able to solve it as well. Well, this means this y's we are writing y and this was we are writing x so three values 0 1 2 and here 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 6 so happening of 0 with 1 is 0 0 with a 2 is 0 this is 1 by 32 this is 2 by 32 this is 2 by 32 and this is 3 by 32 next is 1 with this, so it is 1 by 16, 1 by 16, 1 by 8, 1 by 8, 1 by 8, and 1 by 8. Next time it will be 1 by 32, 1 by 32, 1 by 64, 1 by 64, and 0, and 2 by 64. So this is the basic structure. So how we are going to solve it? First we need to make two extra columns here. That is the sum of probability. So I may need, uh, need to, while we are solving it, you need to write these values. If you add these values this way, this is called the P of Y of Y. So if we add it, this will be 3 by 32, 3 by 32, 11 by 64, 13 by 64, 6 by 32, and 16 by 64. This you need to add, and here also it will be 8 by 32, 10 by 16, and 8 by 64. And adding both sides it will must give you one always remember that the sum of the values is one now what is the question the question they have asked please write it in your copies otherwise you will forget or it will be problematic for you to see and scrolling it down and going back so p of x equal to 1 given y equal to 2 they have asked to find this is the first question p of x less than 1 with this so p of x less than 1 are there are two possible values 0 and 1 so these two values are x equal to 0, y equal to 2 plus y equal to 2. So p of 0 with 2, 0 with 2 has a probability that is 0 and 1 with 2 having a probability that is 1 by 16, sorry 1 by 16 this one. These two double ticks please follow. So 1 by 16 and 0. So if we add it, 0 plus 1 by 16, answer is 1 by 16. That's it. Next is, if they ask you some similar questions, what is the probability that P of X less than 3, Y less than equal to 4. So obviously the combinations will be X possible values are 0, 1, 2 and here possible values are 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the possible combinations will be like this that is p of x equal to 0 with y less than equal to 4 p of x equal to 1 with y less than equal to 4 p of x equal to 2 with y less than equal to 4. So possibly we will get for this one these three values for this one these three values. So in that way if we add it so it will be 1 by 32 plus 2 by 32 these two y less than equal to 4 if we go to previous page. So 
So what is happening here? X is zero and y is less than equal to four. So x is zero. That means this one. I'm using a different color. X is zero. That means this one and y less than equal to four. So that means this, 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 this. So ultimately it is one by thirty two and two by thirty two. So this will make it three by thirty two. Next time x equal to 1 and y less than equal to 4 so this will be the sum of these four and next time it will be a sum of the first four again so 4 4 8 these two zeros actually so we need to add this total probabilistic area so that will be the sum of this 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 and this that's it very basic so if we add these portions here 1 by 32, 2 by 32, then 1 by 16. I'm writing all the values separately. 1 by 8. There are two zeros actually here. And here it will be 1 by 32. 1 by 32, 1 by 64, and 1 by 64. So the ultimately the value will come to 9 by 16. That's all. Now, another question on joint probability uh, will can be also be given in this way. For example, a conditional probability based problem. question says from the given data means the previous problems data from the data find the probability of find conditional distribution conditional probability function of x and y So how to do it? So here probability of first one is so uh, which one we need to find out? So the conditional distribution where y equal to they have given y equal to 1 for x and x equal to 2 for y so when you are finding the distribution function of x y has to be given in this way and when finding the distribution function of y then x has to be given so it, our system will look like x equal to something that is x equal to 1 given y equal to 1 it will be like this and p of x equal to 2 given y equal to 1 like this even p of x equal to 3 given y equal to 1 like this and p of x equal to possible value 4 and y equal to 1 like this. So these are the four expressions. I am writing 1 uh, fully. So this is p of x equal to 1 comma y equal to 1 divided by p of y equal to 1 and just according to the formula. This 1 1 happens if you see your copy 4 by 36 and this is 11 by 36 in the summational portion. So the answer is 4 by 11 similarly the other cases will give you 1 by 11 i would like you to pause and do it yourself 5 by 11 and this one will be 1 by 11 so these are the four easy part so now hence conditional now this is not the conditional part conditional distribution of x given y equal to 1 how to write it you write x and here we write 1, 2, 3, 4, just like this. And the probability of x given y equal to 1 will be like 4 by 11, 1 by 11, 5 by 11, and 1 by 11. That's it. Your job is done. Similarly, you do it for y. So the expression, I'm just writing. You can do it yourself, obviously. So that will be again y equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. And probability of y given x equal to 2 will be 1 by 9, 1 by 3, 1 by 3, and 2 by 9. That's it. This is the way to solve a conditional structure from a given problem of joint probability distribution function. Now, A density function question.
Now how to solve the density function? For example, x and y are two random variables having this is the question given directly. F of x comma y is six minus x minus y by eight, where zero less than equal to x less than equal to two and two less than equal to y less than equal to four. So we need to find p of x less than one intersection y less than three. So find the joint density function. The joint density function of this with respect to this one first x less than 1 and y less than 3 and second thing they have also given one other question that is p of x plus y less than 3 p of x plus y less than 3 so how to solve it if i am proceeding with the first question how to write P of x less than 1 this is less than 1 means where it will start minus infinity to 1 and next time it will start to minus infinity to 3 because both are less than if you get at that then we would have written 1 to infinity 1 to infinity and the function itself 1 by 8 6 minus x minus y and then put a dx and dy so simply it's a case of double integration if you don't know double integration how to do it it is called within within outside outside so this limit belongs to actually this one x we will solve it and then this one belongs to the outside one where 6 minus x minus y is associated with this basic structure.